Gold prices recovered a small drop on Thursday to trade unchanged for the week so far, holding at last Friday's record-high weekly close above $2,500 per troy ounce, despite world number one economy, the USA reporting slower inflation and stronger GDP growth driven by higher consumer spending. Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell confirmed at last week's Jackson Hole event that the Fed will start cutting interest rates from today's two-decade highs at the U.S. Central Bank's September meeting. With auto and credit card delinquencies rising and elevated in Q2 on data from the New York Fed, people who rely on credit cards and other forms of borrowing to finance all sorts of things in their lives, disproportionately folks who are poor, they're really hurting because interest rates are really high, says progressive think tank Groundwork Collaborative. Both mortgage debt and non-housing debt rose to record nominal sums as the U.S. economy accelerated in the April to June quarter. But as a proportion of GDP, household debt has fallen towards 70% from the 100% record set on the eve of the subprime mortgage and then global financial crisis of 2007 to 2012, according to separate data published by the St. Louis Fed. Debt service payments as a percentage of disposable personal income have meantime remained steady at around 10% for more than a decade. The proportion of consumers predicting a recession is stable and well below the 2023 peak, said the conference board think tank this Tuesday, reporting that US consumer confidence hit a six-month high in August. Consumer spending plus a rise in business inventories drove today's upwards revision to Q2 GDP growth, said the Bureau of Economic Analysis today, partly offset by a downturn in residential real estate construction. While inflation on the GDP prices index was revised higher to 2.4%, knocking 0.1 percentage points off the upwards revision to real economic growth, the more closely followed PCE measure was revised down 0.1 points on both the headline index, now showing inflation of 2.5%, and on the core index, now reading 2.8% when food and energy are excluded. With the European Central Bank already starting to cut Eurozone interest rates in June, new inflation data today also came in below consensus forecasts for Germany, now the world's third largest economy behind the US and China, slowing just below the ECB's 2.0% target for the first time since March 2021. Frankfurt's DAX index rose to a new all-time high, outpacing the rest of Europe's major bourses. New York's stock market then opened the day higher, reversing yesterday's late drop after forecast-beating quarterly earnings from AI chip giant NVIDIA failed to prevent a 2.2% drop in the $3 trillion stock, the world's second-largest by market capitalization. The dollar rose to a one-week high on its trade-weighted index against the rest of the world's major currencies, extending its rally from Tuesday's 13-month low. Gold priced in the dollar reversed a $15 drop on the GDP data, trading back close to $2,520 per troy ounce. Euro gold prices meantime rose within 10 euros of the spot bullion market's April and August all-time highs, trading at 2,276 euros. UK gold prices in pounds per ounce also rose to show a 0.3% gain for the week so far, trading at 1,913 pounds. Silver bullion, meantime, continued to hold dead flat for the week so far on Thursday, trading at $29.43 per troy ounce. Last Friday, that level marked its highest weekend finish in six in London, global storage and trading hub for physical precious metals. Separate U.S. data today put both new and ongoing claims for U.S. jobless benefits in line with analysts' consensus forecasts for last week, while July's trade deficit in goods came in above $100 billion. Outside the inflation spike deficits of January to June 2022, that would mark a monthly record for America's shopping bill with the rest of the world. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel.